Hello, I'm Gabriel Matney, and I'm going to share some information about research that compares uh, students' knowledge uh, with uh, the use of lesson study by teachers. So today's presentation is called Lesson Study and Other Professional Learning, a Comparison of Students' Mathematical Knowledge. The research question that we're thinking about today is, does lesson study by the teacher revised model, which incorporates open approach, impact students' achievement. I know that's a mouthful, but I'll explain open approach in just a second. And uh, really, the, the ultimate goal is to understand whether or not, if you're a teacher and you are doing lesson study, whether your students learn more uh, or perform better on achievement than teachers who are given another PD or, or doing another PD. And to conduct this research, we did a controlled study with well-matched groups, which means we, we took a control group of teachers who match well with the, uh, the teachers who are doing lesson study, and then we see what, what happens with their students. So first of all, open approach is a, a teaching technique that many teachers do in, in, around the world, uh, they, where they propose an open-ended problem to the students. Then from there, uh, the students have a time where they think for themselves about how to solve the problem. This transpires between groups of students talking and whole class discussions. The teacher may pose extra problems or questions to the students as they think through this process. And ultimately, it concludes in summarizing uh, uh, through the connection of student ideas to uh, what they were thinking in the problem solving. So that's open approach. So then our lesson study model that the lesson study teachers in the comp project were doing is the teacher advice model, which means that they decide on what they want to research and then they plan it and then they teach it and then they reflect and revise. Uh, and then after that revision, they teach it again and then they reflect and revise again before moving on to the final reflection. And so they'll do this process at least twice in the comp program. But grades such as first and second grade actually did this process four times instead of just two for the same lesson. So every lesson study they did, they revised it and retaught it four times. Their teaching is of course connected to the open approach. So as they're doing the lesson study, they're trying to do this kind of system. Uh, and that, that's why open approach is part of the research question as well. So uh, a little bit about the context here. Um, there were two types of participants. One was lesson study participants and the other is the comparison teachers. Uh, which did not do lesson study. So the, the teachers up here, there were 27 of them, they're in grades uh, K through five. Most of them are from the same school and we had a few teachers that weren't from that school. And the teachers who weren't from that school are typically um, at the upper levels, like grades four or five, because uh, there weren't as many grades four and five teachers as there were uh, K, K3 teachers in the schools. Um, the comparison teachers who did not do lesson study came from other schools, so schools besides these that are still in the same district. And there were 85 of those teachers. Uh, the number of students that were comparing in lesson study group was 410 students and to the comparison group of students, which was 1,284 students. So something that's important in well-matched groups is to make sure that the conditions under which folks are teaching is uh, consistent. So the district governance of all schools remain the same uh, in the following ways. For example, they had the exact same curriculum to follow. They were given the exact same curriculum and they were given the exact same curriculum map by which they were supposed to you know, proceed through the content. Um, obviously, they're in the same district, they're in the same state, so they have the same state standards. Um, the elementary schools are all structured the same and that K-4 are self-contained and uh, teachers in grade five are semi-departmentalized meaning that uh, the, the teacher mostly teaches math, but they may also teach a science and then someone else would teach, uh, you know, language arts and then also a science, that's kind of thing. Um, all the schools in the district have a high poverty rate and they all have diverse student populations. So uh, we needed uh, to measure the achievement of students, so we needed to choose a validated instrument to do that. We chose the map assessment. It, it literally has hundreds of thousands of data points by which they've established reliability and validity. 
and uh, that has been established in uh, multiple multiple places in research. So then uh, looking at what happens when we compare things, uh, you know, chi-square analysis shows that there are no differences between participants um, between the participant group and comparison group. And this is important because uh, actually you don't want, you know, there to be differences uh, between the, the groups of students that you're looking at. You want them to be uh, statistically equivalent. And then uh, it, the previous achievement is another important thing to do. So if, if you know, the, the lesson study group students had previously achieved much higher than students in, uh, let's say, the comparison group, then you're already starting off with, uh, you know, um, things that, that aren't exactly the same. And you, you may have uh, higher, instances of, higher instances of studiousness from the individuals in one group compared to another, and that, that wouldn't be um, a well-matched group. So in this case, uh, you know, we did an independent t-test for each grade level, and we saw that they are identical, so, or not statistically different. Uh, so the two groups, control group of students and the students and of less day teachers um, academically are the same. And so these findings demonstrate a well-matched comparison group. So uh, here's what we found. Uh, when we looked at students' pre-tests um, of the map and their post-tests of the map. So the pre-test is given before any PD. So that was before the PD that the teachers uh, in lesson study started, which would be the lesson studies, and that was before the PD that the other group of teachers who weren't doing lesson study started. If you weren't doing lesson study, you were doing another PD that the district asked you to do um, or required you to do, and that was a PD about helping students visualize ideas. Um, it's a very popular PD in the United States, and many districts have done it, um, and so this district was doing that at this time. So if you weren't doing lesson study, then you were doing this other PD. And that's important that all teachers are doing PD. They're all doing professional development. So we can understand that the hope is that whenever we do any professional development, it helps the teacher um, improve their student learning. And so what we found was actually, you can see the sample sizes here between the, the comp group, which would be the lesson study teachers, and the non-lesson study teachers. And in every single area of mathematics, the, uh, the students of the lesson study teachers outperformed, outgrew their knowledge um, over uh, the comparison teachers who were doing a different PD of the lesson study. And so what's interesting, I think, about this to know a little bit more is that the, the lesson study teachers only looked at one domain when they did all of their lesson studies, and that domain was we want to improve our students' operations and algebraic thinking. Now, in doing that, it's very connected to number and operations, so it's not surprising to us that number and operations also have a large degree of difference because they're highly connected. What is really intriguing about this data is that measurement and geometry, things that are not exactly considered to be, you know, highly the same as operations and algebraic thinking, it's a different kind of thinking, measurement is, and geometry, connected but different. But yet, the lesson study students, students of teachers who took lesson study, again, statistically significantly outscored uh, the students in um, the comparison group. And so one of the explanations that we have for that is that when you're doing lesson study, even if you're looking at something as domain specific as, are my students learning operations algebraic thinking? And how can I help them better their learning on that topic? When you do that, you don't just learn about how to improve students' thinking in operations algebraic thinking. You learn other things that are connected to that. And then you can apply the, your other learning as a teacher in many, many different areas. And uh, we see that growth in these other areas here. So mathematics as a whole was improved even though teachers were looking at a specific domain. And so to get a little bit, you know, richer into the data, here's some graphics uh, that you can see. Um, anything that's in color is the, uh, the starting and ending point for uh, the lesson study group. Anything uh, that is in a black line or a gray line here is the comparison group. And you can see in many cases the, the 
lesson study group students started a bit below, but ran parallel to their growth uh, from uh, of the other students. You can see here, though, where the color changes to orange, all of these orange colors mean that the um, lesson study students statistically significantly outperformed um, their, their, uh, their peers. And the same with this. And a couple areas that are just really interesting is just like this measurement area in fourth grade here where uh, the lesson study, 410 lesson study students just significantly outperformed their peers. So on the whole, what we see is this. Students of teachers who participated in a year-long lesson study incorporating open approach revealed greater mathematics achievement gains than students in a well-matched comparison group. In particular, first and second grade lesson study students demonstrated greater achievement gains than comparison students. Their teachers did more than two rounds during each of their lesson study cycles. And so, as we mentioned before, the first and second grade teachers, they did four of these cycles instead of just two. And their scores as teachers of lesson study, uh, their students scored higher than, than any of the other students uh, on, the, on the map assessment pre and post. So uh, the interesting findings here is that you know, we have some evidence that teachers who do lesson study um, have students that learn better and not just in the domain of lesson study, but they learn better across all domains of that content area, in this case, mathematics. And furthermore, teachers who do this iterative cycle more than two times have students that outgain when teachers of lesson study do it just two times. So those are our findings. And uh, you know, if you have any questions at all, I encourage you to reach out to me. Uh, you can just shoot me a quick email. I'll be happy to talk about research or lesson study at any time. Thank you.